We're recording. Recording. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, guys. What up? Welcome to Two Black Girls, One Rose. Where two black-ass girls invade the whitest show on earth. The, the Bachelor. Bachelor. I'm Natasha. And I'm Justine. And we just watched the second, second. yeah, second episode yep. of Peter's season. It is a trying, mm. I think this is going to be a trying season for mm. me. Mm. <laughs> I found myself doing many other things while watching that right? episode. Right? Yeah. You guys, I was Sending really emails and really shopping. <laughs> that date had me like, mm, let me go on Boohoo real quick. On Revolve? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their inventory real quick. <laughs> what would I wear on this oh, date? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be one of them seasons. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Um... That's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get through it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the drama is light. Yes, yes, The producers yes. are searching. Yes, indeed. So, mm-hmm. and you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. Um, <laughs> what were your initial thoughts? Um, okay, first initial thought. McKenna and Hannah Ann are the new Cassie and Kaylin. They remind yes. me a lot of them, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. I feel yep, like the same vibe. Hannah Ann saying like, I feel like both of us are in a good place is code for, <laughs> I feel like both of us are in the running for bachelorette or minimum paradise favorite. Definitely Hannah Ann McKenna. So the vibe I was getting mm-hmm. was Hannah Ann is like Regina George mm-hmm. and McKenna mm-hmm. is like Karen the fetch girl. <laughs> or what was her, <laughs> Whatever name? her name? Gretchen. Is. Whichever one. Gretchen, yes. Yeah. Like her little mm-hmm. side toady. Mm-hmm. Like the way that McKenna almost like looks at Hannah Ann and, mm-hmm. and like almost like looks up to her. And I'm yeah. like, looking up to her. You're literally the same age as her. <laughs> like, that was the vibe I was getting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. for mm-hmm. sure. So they are probably going to get on my nerves. Can't wait for McKenna to leave because that's coming soon. I can feel yeah. it. Um, mm-hmm. And then the <laughs> other two have absolutely nothing to do with this episode. Just prefacing. Anyone mm. else, early email call out, email the number two black girls mm. one rose at gmail.com. Does anybody else follow Derek on Twitter? Because he seems very shady and petty about oh. every date, about what? all the girls. Yes. Yes. Really? Oh my God, it's crazy. Derek. He's like, oh boy, I, need to I just don't him. feel like a fashion show actually showcases a girl's personality or like their character. I'm like, oh, Derek. <laughs> He's still shady. He was never named the Bachelor. He probably. is. He is still salty because he is 33 and single yeah. and is ready to marry, you know, a nice girl like Natasha. Or um, I feel like there's like no one else that's actually age appropriate for him or maturity wise. But that's fine. Right. You know, somebody yeah. like that. Um, and yeah, he's pretty shady about it. So <laughs> anybody else who follows him. Let us know if you get the shady vibes. And then I just want to clarify <laughs> something because Natasha put up a fantastic meme earlier today or this week that caused some frenzy in the comments of our Instagram. Not what? frenzy, discussion. Yes, oh, on, on Instagram. Instagram. The 22-year-old getting married. Which one is this? who needs to go oh, back yes. on campus. All the college, the, the married college yes. students came out the woodwork. Yes. Married college students. <laughs> to say, I'm married and happy. <laughs> yes. God. I've been married for eight <laughs> no months way. and it's been, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's get something straight right here, right now today. 22 yes. is not too young to get married. I don't think. If you're ready at 22, good. Be ready at 22. If you're ready, go, go for, it. for it. We're not in your life. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. What 22 is too mm-hmm. young to do is to get to know someone. You can hear the quotes in my voice. Know someone <laughs> in six weeks competing with 29 other people to get married while the entire world is watching and criticizing your relationship. That is what 22-year-old is too young to do. Yeah. That is something that I think we want to clarify here. Because 22 years old, it's fine. We know, all know Becca M. went and, like, did what she had to do. Mm-hmm. I know she knew her man for longer than oh, six weeks, it. though. 
that's what I do know. Yes, yes. for men in real world. Yes. In the real world, yes. So, yeah. You know, yeah. you know. <laughs> I know, I know. I still think 20 is too young, but I don't care. <laughs> what right. these people will say. Right. Right. I just, I've said it from Becca season. I want more for my 22 mm. year olds because I know how much fun I was having mm-hmm. at 22 and how much of a full, rich 20s mm-hmm. I've lived. And I want mm-hmm. that for everyone. And I feel like you have your whole life to get mm-hmm. married and have babies. If you're ready to do that, that's your prerogative. Go ahead mm-hmm. and do that. I just mm-hmm. want more for you. <laughs> like, I want you to live and just thrive and feel your full 20s before you sit down on the couch yeah. with some babies. That's just my opinion, my old 30-year-old New York City <laughs> Yeah, opinion. that's the other thing, too. I uh, I know yeah. I was raised in a very, like, sheltered household. Um, I didn't really, like, get to do much mm-hmm. between, like, 16 and 19. So mm-hmm. some people did. Mm-hmm. Some people have already lived and been to the club and are sick of it and are done and by the time like they're 22. Yeah. So Yeah, yeah. To each yeah. their own. But yeah, definitely at that age, going on The mm-hmm. Bachelor, on television, competing against all these mm-hmm. other women. We already see how Victoria F., who we will mm-hmm. get to, but Victoria F. is like breaking yeah. down yeah. and has all these like insecurities <laughs> and all this shit and like trying to find validation from this man that you literally just met last week. Like, come on. <laughs> 32-year-old might be yeah. able to handle that. 22 I know what my ass was thinking about myself yeah. at 22. I would be breaking down Absolutely. on this show. So yeah. that's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, those are my initial thoughts. What are yours? <laughs> <laughs> um, first, this isn't a thought, but I just, so eight people went home last week, not three. <laughs> they only showed three people, <laughs> which is why I was so confused. But actually eight women went Sorry. home last week. And what's funny, people are pointing out, was that all of the flight attendants <gasps> were sent? No. Yes. And remember my little theory from yes. the first episode how pi- pi- Peter the pilot, he's probably already mm-hmm. dated flight attendants, mm-hmm. has been there, done that, probably has a thing, like a complex yeah. about it. And yeah, he sent all three of them girls packing on wow. the first night. So, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, other thoughts. So, Peter's in love with Hannah Brown. <laughs> Stop! They didn't have... I'm sorry, but they did not get any resolve mm-hmm. in this mm-hmm. episode. Mm-hmm. None whatsoever. They kind of ended the conversation dry, and he was like, all right, well, I'm going back to my contractual mm-hmm. agreement. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's it. Yeah. He's not... I didn't get the sense that he is over Hannah mm-hmm. and ready to date mm-hmm. again, even though he is saying that to everyone. But it's just I kind of kept that lens on the whole time I was watching the right, episode. Right, yeah. Like, he's really putting himself mm-hmm. out there. He's going through the motions. But really, like, I still think he's in love <laughs> with Hannah Brown. So um, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else yeah. agrees. But just a weird, there's a weird kind of, like, cloud over the episode, at least for me. But, I mean, he still seemed to have fun with the girls. But I don't know. It just seems like, yeah. like... That was still kind of hanging over everything for me. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, I, I, well, I talked about this already with the, the champagne thing. They were really trying to search for some mm-hmm. drama. Um, I think, I mean, this was a very obvious producer orchestrated yes, house drama. Like, yeah. <laughs> completely. They sent Hannah down, San, they sent Hannah Ann down to go drink that girl champagne. Yes, yeah. Without that moment, it would have been a drama-free episode. It would have, yeah, except you know? for Victoria. It would have been completely crying, drama-free. But that's it. Crying. Other than that, we would have had nothing, nothing. to watch really yeah. in this episode. Wow. Not a thing. So it just shows you how the producers—they're always just at work. Always, always at work. Always, them storyboards are constantly just shifting. <laughs> Shifting, yes. <laughs> you see them it's with like the whiteboards and like an episode magazine clippings. Yes, like, all the lines. Here. Move that one here. What does she want? Exactly. What did she get when she was six? What is she? Motion sickness? What is this? Like <laughs> <laughs> moving all the, the strings around. Yeah, yeah they like conf- they foresaw an episode free drama and was like, we've got to create something tonight. <laughs> And created this very simple champagne yeah. storyline yep. that somehow created an episode. Mm-hmm. So that yep. was interesting. Um, and then 
this, so this was kind of going with what I was saying with the 22 year olds and being kind of young, going into this kind of crazy process. When I was watching Kelsey breaking it down mm. and then Victoria all sad and talk about she doesn't feel confident and all this shit. Mm-hmm. It just made me so happy looking back, personally looking back at like my dating life mm-hmm. over my 20s. Mm-hmm. So I spent most of my 20s single, mm-hmm. which means I had to have, I had to find validation and self-love on my own. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a man mm-hmm. around to tell me I look beautiful, whatever. I had to do all that pretty much by myself. And can I happily say at this ripe age of 30, I feel very secure, mm-hmm. very confident. And that was work I did on my own mm-hmm. without, you know, a boyfriend around to do any of that. And I feel great now, like being with Nate. And I, I know I don't need someone to assure me or to validate me. Mm-hmm. And I just watching Kelsey and watching Victoria, like I can't imagine living, feeling so unsure mm-hmm. about yourself mm-hmm. and then thrusting yourself into this, process yeah. into a house of beautiful other girls who are gorgeous mm-hmm. and there's like three or four who are prettier than you mm-hmm. and forcing yourself into this house to continue to just look in the mirror and feel so unsure about yourself yeah. like I can't I don't know how these girls do it I pray for them because it could not have been me no mm-hmm. me either yeah I couldn't no. imagine like and then see- battling other women at like 23 yeah yeah no she wouldn't have done and that. deep down feeling looking in the mirror and feeling like not good enough mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. looking at the girl to your left and your right and they're they are prettier than yeah. you <laughs> like yeah. you're like seeking attention and validation and then this guy that you're all fighting over just to like look at you on the group mm-hmm. date mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. searching for little strings of hope like ugh, it just <laughs> I don't know, just washing it, just washing over me like, God, this seems like terrible. Yeah, yeah. Put yourself through this and you are feeling and you're you're not a confident woman mm-hmm. and you're putting yourself into this situation to make you feel even more unconfident. Yeah. Just, I don't know why these girls do this. It's all for the sake of like potentially finding love, but like <laughs> you're throwing yourself to the wolves <laughs> in the process and like hoping you come out alive mm-hmm. and with a man on the other side. Mm-hmm. But most of these people just turn out more broken, it seems, on the other side, so... Yeah. yeah, especially the girls. Especially on yeah, especially on the Bachelor, like the girls. Yeah, like they yep. they go through it. Mm-hmm. So, just a thought, just a sad, <laughs> like well, dismal just, thought, and just a realization <laughs> of like, and just a real, yeah, yeah, of where yeah. I'm at, and then just seeing where these girls are at, like, oof, yeah. Lord, got and where you were, do. like remembering, like you know. exactly. Yeah. And where I where I was and how I got to this point on my own. And mm-hmm. these girls are here searching for confidence and all this stuff and hoping for Peter to help them in that process yeah. whilst yeah. helping 29 other girls. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like such a, a yeah. big uphill battle for yeah. the girls and for Peter to try and help mm-hmm. them through. So, mm-hmm. oh, Lord. Uh, but those are my thoughts. Hey guys, that's a little taste of this week's episode. If you want to hear the full recap, head on over to patreon.com slash two black girls, one rose and sign up to get weekly recaps and other bachelor content from us. See See you next week. week.